Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Venice. This time I have force recorded the stream so that um, I know that it's recording because I had the last episode I thought I was recording but I hadn't so that was an entire 16 turns that I missed that I'm going to go back to the other save and do again. Again. So uh, hopefully that doesn't happen uh, again. Right. Alright, so now we get into things. Let's see, um... Oh no. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Have I not captured Salisbury yet? Well, oh, darn. That sucks. Um... Yeah, let's get him up to that mountain. I want to have the uh, the bonus. That really stinks. We had a lot going for us. Okay, who gets destroyed? Pikemen. That's fine. Pikemen are not that important. They're they're literally just there to take hits and potentially take a city if I if I really need them to. Um. Although, this time I can not make the mistake of accidentally buying a tri uh, pikeman when I meant to buy a uh, trebuchet, so that's not like. Yeah, so, um, the Ottomans are still coming at us. Uh, although they have negative happiness, so I'm getting, as you can see, an 8% combat bonus. I don't know why they decided that this was a good idea, because it isn't. Switch these two guys so that you can fire from the city, and you can be out here and do pikeman things. So he's coming up with a warrior, like, I don't know why. Like, does he seriously not have anything else to throw? Um, okay, so we can't basically have enough firepower if we want. Um, so you can take out him. You can take out him. You can take out him. You're probably gonna die. Uh, but bombard Salzburg anyway. Okay, so we're gonna try and focus on just taking Salzburg with minimal casualties. Uh, and I had already captured it in twice, I might add, in episodes that have not been recorded. Uh, but let's do it again. <laughs> so, um... Okay, so... You're gonna do around 50 damage. You're gonna do around 25. You'll do around 12 there. Okay, let's just do this. There we go. Uh, and, oh, you can set up, and bam. Looking good. You just come out here, and I already know now, uh, ahead of time, <laughs> there are going to be some trebuchets dying. So you might as well buy a new one. Though, so, looks like Maria Teresa is, uh, not being very ca cautious with her units. That's fine by me. Yeah. Uh, you're, like I said, these elephants are really important. I'm just going to embark him. I don't want a chance losing him. And you, sir, are going to come up this way. Uh, have we discovered the Great Barrier Reef? 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 R-E-E-F. Uh, I think it's in here. No, that doesn't make any sense. Huh. Maybe it's back here. I guess that would be it. Yeah, Nebuchadnezzar gets the Forbidden Palace. Again, um, and what that's basically going to mean is that uh, he's going to be able to outpower us in the elections, but that's okay by me since I already have one more vote than basically anyone else. Okay, interestingly... They got one of the Galeists, which is fine. I would prefer to have my trebuchet not killed. Um, so that's fine. What's going on? Oh, okay, just Kabul. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, he's standing in Marsh right now, so might as well take advantage of that to uh, hit it. Um. Yeah, um, let's see, so now, you move here, you move here. Uh, 
you move here and you move here. That way he can hit the city if he has to. Uh, but he's not going to have to because um, because I tried it once and I only did one damage and it killed the entire elephant. So uh, that's not happening. Alright, great. We're going to get a great general which is absolutely vital to uh, a war effort here. Especially in taking like Vienna. Okay, now you've got that hills promotion. Um, let's come down this way. Maybe we can like screw with our workers while we're at it. Um, ooh, a trade route. So I can just kill that guy off now. Move him down and pillage one. Move him here. Uh, okay, your job is just to come in and help us with Salzburg. You fortify to reduce damage. You bombard, 31. You bombard, 14. Uh, you get up here. You get up into firing position, and for some reason, we didn't lose a trebuchet this round because Maria Teresa is not nearly as smart in this playthrough as she was in the last one. It's free 100 gold from a caravan pillaged, plundered, uh, and okay, so she's healing 21 per turn. Okay, we lost an elephant. That's a shame. Uh, she's healing 21 per turn, which uh, means that a single a single trebuchet will account for more than than the city is recovering. Um, and she can kill one every turn with the strength of Salzburg, but uh, you know I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, yep. Darn it, he survived. Uh, just kill him off. Do that. Um, you just fortify. You pillage and move. Okay. So for whatever reason, we still have two trebuchets sitting here, uh, totally unharmed and firing on Salzburg and beating the crap out of it, I might add. Uh, so, I think we'll be able to take it this turn. Um, it'll be a stretch, but I can definitely do it. Wow. Okay, neither of you could do it in one hit. What if you fire, and then you take it? There we go. Yeah, and we still have, we're still in the, the uh, positive happiness, actually, because, uh, yep, just, you move forward. And now you get to chase off all of the uh, pesky little, pesky little um, Austrians right now. At this point, I think Maria Therese is going to start offering me a peace deal. I'm not going to want it, but uh, the offer will, will stand, most likely. One of the things I have noticed with um, Brave New World that I can speak positively on is that I feel like the AI knows when it's losing now, compared to previously when it sort of just kind of pretended that it was winning worse than it wasn't. Uh, and that's a big, that's a big thing. Uh, right, because you would oft oftentimes you would have games where you would take like three or four other cities, but they would still have more units. So they would pretend like that wasn't happening, and then just, I mean, you know, whatever, right? And it was annoying because it, uh, okay. One of my trade routes got pillaged. Okay, that was Venice and Chichen Itza, that's important. Um, so no peace deal yet. Uh, but. Um, yeah, you... Yeah, he doesn't have Janissaries. I don't know why not, because those are really good, and <laughs> he's just, like, one tech away from him. Alright, let's reestablish that connection with, uh, Venice. Thank you very much. I will take that. It's a free 200 gold. Um... And let's just chase off the fleeing Austrian units. Um, 
One, two, three, four. Fire. Fire. Okay, uh, and you move forward and help us kill these guys. Yep. The more Austrian units we kill, uh, the better kind of deal we're going to get. And move you back here so you're not within striking range of a pikeman. Right, okay. You need to get up here and get this coal. Why is she doing that? Golden Age, yep. If I remember correctly, that just shaves one turn off of Big Ben, which is fine by me, plus it's a lot of money. Take that missionary, uh, go ahead and embark. Missionary, which I will disband next turn because I don't need it. You can heal the city. Alright, so... Yeah, there were some interesting... Okay, so 56 gold per turn. Um, she offered me 66 in the other version, so I'm gonna withhold on that. Hopefully I can kill a few uh, units and get a higher deal. Interestingly, she's got a... Okay, yeah, see? Look, look who came running. Okay. Um, I accept your forgiveness. Um, let's be friends again. Because I would like to be able to trade with you. And also not have to worry about you destroying my trade or attacking me or anything nasty like that. Alright. Uh, this has been the episode. I'll see you guys later.